Welcome, Annie Collins here for the Fairy Stamper. Today we're going to create a mini slimline Father's Day card. Let's go over some of the products I used to create this card. Raphael, which is FHS015, and he's a, a turtle or a tortoise. Mini Turtle here, which is FHS013. From my stash, stash, I brought in Hero Arts Celebrate Everything, which is CL498. We're going to use the Father's Day sentiment down here. Like I said, we're making a mini card, so I have some accent, opaque white, ultra smooth paper, and that's 80 pound, a navy, 65 pound, and our card base, which is 110 pound white card stock, and our card will measure three and a half by six and a quarter. And then this dies from memory box, it creates this ocean scene, it cuts it out of your card panel. I'll have everything, like always, listed in the description box below. For our inks, we're going to use VersaFine Onyx Black for our sentiment. For our turtles, we're going to use VersaFine Clear and Green Oasis. And we're going to have some Distress Oxide inks. Vintage Photo, Fossilized Amber, that'll create our sand. And for our ocean, we're going to have Mermaid Lagoon and Broken China. All right, I'm going to clear everything off our desk and get started. We're going to start by applying our ink to our ultra smooth accent cardstock. I'm going to start with fossilized amber and we want about an inch or so on the bottom because this is a mini card and I don't want it to take up too much real estate with the sand. So I spread out on um, fossilized amber and then I pounce on a little bit of the vintage photo. So it creates a speckling and it does look like sand and to smooth out any rings or anything there I go ahead and put a little more fossilized amber on top. Now we're going to move on to our ocean part. We're going to pull in Mermaid Lagoon, which is the deeper of the two blues. And we're going to put that towards the bottom, and then we're going to go lighter as we on up. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. I know it goes on a little splotchy, but it will even out. And we're going to be using um, some spray on it later so to create some droplets. And uh, it'll look totally blended here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and keep smoothing on the Mermaid Lagoon. And then I'll move into the Broken China towards the top. And right here I should have turned my paper, but I will eventually so I can do this a little bit better. There we go. Sometimes you just don't think about, hey, turn it, it'll be easier. Okay, so I turned the paper and I'll go back with Mermaid Lagoon to smooth out those uh, blended edges. And again here with the fossilized amber. So now that we have it all smoothed out, okay, I'm going to give it a few more goes. I, now it should be smoothed out. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my flat box, and I'm going to do a little um, misting on it and spraying some on it so that we can create some droplets. What I'm going to use is actually Imagine Crafts Sheer Shimmer Spray. It's a craft spray and frost. So it's going to give us a nice shimmery, but it also comes out a little more milky white. So instead of, instead of the clear, it's just, it's just plain glitter. This one will give us those little white dots, which will create the bubbles of our ocean. All right, I'm going to heat set this because we want to continue with our panel and our card. Now that it's all heat set, I did that off screen, save you all some time there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stamp out turtles. Again, I have a piece of accent opaque white ultra smooth cardstock. It's that 80 pound in my on my platform. And I'm inking up my turtles, both of them, with the um, Green Oasis Versa Clear Fine. Do it again. I'm sorry my camera couldn't focus there. <laughs> when you move too quick it does it says, what are you doing? <laughs> so I'm just pushing and pressing it out. And I'm using a dry erase uh, a dry eraser for dry ink. What, I don't know. I'm using an eraser to give even pre pressure. All right, so there are our turtles. Now, VersaFine Clear stays a little wet, a little longer. So I'm going to heat set these so that I can proceed with the next portion of our card making here, which is adding a little more color to our turtles. I'm going to pull in the fossilized amber distress oxide, mist it with a little bit of water, and then I'm taking a little paintbrush here. It's an inexpensive little paintbrush. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in our turtle 
the areas that are white, and I'm going to do the, paint them in they, with the fossilized amber. This will give a nice color to our turtles. I'm going to do this to both the father and the baby. And this is simple, easy coloring, and the Versafine Claire, since it's already dry, it won't smear. Um, and it's also not water reactive, so it won't smear. And then the baby is really quick and easy here. This card is perfect for my husband. I created this for my son to give to him. Ever since they saw uh, Finding Nemo, they always do the noggin, you know, like the little turtles in the movie. So they do that all the time. All right, so we have our turtles done. I'm going to set them aside to dry while we die cut our panel. From our background, um, inked background panel, we're going to go ahead and die cut the ocean scene here. And that goes right in the center. I went off screen to die cut because I have a big die cut uh, machine next to me. It's the cross crossover edge machine. And then I'm going to peel away my die. I was worried that it was going to rip. That washi tape sometimes really sticks hard. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pulling out all the extra bits. And now you see we have that opening in the center which we'll be backing with our navy cardstock. And this also does, um, what is it? It does embossing, like on the seashell and the, and the jellyfish. It gives you like a little embossing detail. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and ink up our sentiment. And I just pulled in a piece of scrap white. I'm only gonna use um, a small ink up, just a happy first. Now this is a well-loved stamp so it's always stained that black color no matter how much i clean it it'll stay that way all right so now i'm going ahead and just stamped happy now i'm going to stamp the father's day i use a piece of washi tape over the word happy to make sure i didn't get any ink or any transfer onto my cardstock here i'm going to go ahead and tri trim our sentiment into two strips I'm bringing in my mini fiskars trimmer here which is perfect for those little tiny strips in card making. All right, so I narrowed it down, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm gonna cut the Father's Day work, uh, sentiment into it with a little tail end, and I'm cutting it, trimming off a little extra, and then the happy, I'm just gonna block off, making sure it's nice, and, and I'm gonna trim off any of the little extra, I want it to be smaller and thinner. Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a tickle in my throat. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start making our card now that we have all our components all ready to go. We're going to start by adhering the layer of navy cardstock with some Barely Arts glue. And this is the same size as, as our base, which is three and, a, <coughs> three and a half by six and a quarter. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to adhere our going to check out my placement first see how I want this because at first when I thought about this card I was thinking maybe the baby would be coming out from behind the little opening there the die cut but I changed my mind I want him to be out front so I just want to make sure he fit with his dad there so I'm putting um, some foam adhesive on the back of my turtles here so I want to raise them up and I'll be doing the same thing with our sentiment. I'll be raising that up on some foam adhesive. Getting the little uh, head and fins here. Or arms. I don't know. What the turtle thingies. Paddles. Fins. Arms. You know, that. <laughs> okay. So now, now I'm going to go ahead and adhere... Um, the rest of my card together as soon as I get this last little bit here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, I decided I'm going to go ahead and lay this flat. So I'm going to add some um, art, barely art glue to the back of this, just a little bit here and there, making sure I adhere all those little um, ocean creatures as well. Forgot my seahorse. And this is going to have a nice little frame around the whole perimeter. Got that on there. Now we're going to adhere our little turtle. He's going to go a little higher, almost like his dad is helping him swim 
give him a little nudge. There he is. Now we're going to adhere that here. He'll be on coming up from the bottom. Those little foam thing backings are always so difficult to take off. Okay, so we're going to put him there. And we're going to nestle our sentiment towards the top. It's going to go over a bit of our um, theme here, but that's fine. I'm trying to decide, do I want to put a little bit more of that blue cardstock on here or just leave it white? And I go for it leaving it white, but I do keep looking at it to be sure. I wasn't sure if it would just be too much, so I just went with plain white. So I'm going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive to the back of this and get our sentiment on our card. Once we get this down, then we're going to apply some finishing touches. All right, I'm trying to get my card straight, so I'm going to use the grid lines on my mat to get my sentiment on there. And with all that, I still get the happy on crooked. I'm telling you, I'm losing it, people. Division is going now. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in some Doodles Paper Playground um, Sparkle Blend. This one's called Baby Shark. And it has little female looking little sharks in there. But we're not going to use those. We're just going to pull in some of these blues because the blue, the darker blue, is the same color as my layering um, cardstock. It's a perfect match. And then it has several shades of blue in here. So I'm going to pull out um, my sparkle um, wand and I'm going to add, place all my sequins here onto my card, do a quick layout, make sure this is where I want everything to be before I adhere it down. So now I know where I want everything to be, so I just go ahead and put little drops of adhesive and place the sequence down. I, ha I have three towards the bottom right and about four and around the um, sentiment. I end up um, putting smaller ones up here and the bigger ones towards the bottom. And they, so they blend in, but they, yet they shine, so they look like actual bubbles on the, on the card, so it looks really nice. So we created a lot of texture and dimension, but without a lot of um, effort, really, because you just smoothed down some ink, you splattered some um, frost, uh, shimmer machine spray on there, stamped our, our, our turtles, pop them up, did that simple die cut, and you have all this beautiful background and movement. Okay, so we're done with our card. Let me go over again. We use Versifying Clear and Ocean Oasis, no, Green Oasis, Versifying in Onyx Black, Distress Oxide and Fossilized Amber, Vintage Photo, Broken China, and Mermaid Lagoon. We use our die from Memory Box, Hero Art Sentiment, and Raphael and Mini Turtle. I would like to thank you for being here today. I'm, like always, I will put everything in the description box below. And I hope you found some inspiration.